Are you so tired and frustrated with the model release process that you shy away from shooting stock that will ha make you do a model release? I know I've been to that point of frustration, but now I want you to close your eyes and imagine, imagine a process that is smooth, easy to navigate. Shutterstock is now offering a digital release through DocuSign. And today I'm, I'm going to go over the benefits of this and also go step by step through filling one out. So besides the benefits of a fully digital workflow, the digital release feature brings along a number of additional perks. One being a witness signature is no longer required for model releases. That's nice and convenient. Your contributor information will go ahead and auto-populate in a digital release. Digital releases are downloadable for your record keeping purposes. Digital releases are automatically saved in your contrib contributor account. Models can complete their part from of the digital release form on a mobile device if they choose. Each of these may not sound like a lot of time, but when you repeat it hundreds, if not thousands of times, it can add up and time is money. Now, before we get into the step-by-step -step process, I would really appreciate if you'd go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't, haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. In my opinion, this is something we'll see more of and sites need to adopt to help contributors out. It's bad enough we have to title, keyword, submit, and I mean, come on agencies, shut up and take my contributions already. To get started, hop over to Shutterstock and go into the items that you're working on. You'll go to Request Release. You'll get a pop-up box that will give you some information, such as model's name, which will autofill in the DocuSign, model's email address so it can send them send the release to them, and custom email message. This will show up in the subject of the email, and then you'll just simply hit submit to send it to them. Once you submit and hit request release, the DocuSign will come up. You'll have to click continue. It will already pre-fill your contributor information, the date, and you can put a note in as well. From there, the last thing that remains is for you to hit sign. I've already done this, so it has a signature, but it will give you some options if you want to do it yourself or if you want it to pre-fill one based on your name. Once you've filled out all the information necessary, you'll just click finish and it will email it over to the model. The model then receives the following email asking them to sign and just review the document, which again will load that in DocuSign. If it's the first time, they will have to uh, agree to DocuSign's terms of agreement and hit continue. I don't think anyone reads those anyways, but good to know. From there, they'll be required to enter their name, address, city, country, their phone number, and their date of birth, as this does have to be an adult model release or a property release. So far, it does not work for minors, but they're going to add that. After it's filled in, they'll just hit sign. It, uh, and you can see, based on the name, it'll come up with an adoption or they have options to sign it themselves. Additional information, ethnicity, other distinguishing features, gender, and down at the bottom, you can upload a photo for reference. I could see that being helpful for a property release. Once it's all done, they'll just need to hit finish. They can create an account and keep a copy for themselves. And, it's, and they're all done from their side. Really easy. You'll now receive a email saying completed and to view the completed document takes you back to DocuSign. You look through it. If everything's good, you just simply hit the close button and now it'll be ready for you in Shutterstock.
Now that you've verified the document, go back into Shutterstock, select the photo you want to attach the release to, come over under the normal information where you'd fill out names, keywords, and come down to releases and hit the little plus icon, and it will bring up your releases. It, um, as you can see, my hot wife's the first one. We'll just attach, click done, and that's all that there is to it. Pretty simple and a lot more time convenient. Thank you for watching another episode. And remember, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing for money.